Uh, it's a great day because it's the middle of Easter and what better weekend and what better representation of marriage when we think of Christ in the church than this weekend. And so marriage is the first institution that God ever created. It is the greatest example of unconditional love. It is the bringing together of two people that have chosen to commit their lives to be lived as one. So we are here today to formally recognize the coming together of you, Brian, and you, Kelly, into a forever relationship. Brian and Kelly, you have great love for one another. The Bible teaches us what love is and how that love should be lived out as a married couple. This love should be lived out like-minded. It should be unconditional. It is humble. It is sacrificial. We we'll get a better understanding of this love from the Apostle Paul where he wrote to the church at Corinth in 1 Corinthians 13 where he said these words. Love is patient, love is kind. It does not envy, it does not boast, and it is not proud. It does not dishonor others, it is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered, it keeps no record of wrongs. This love does not delight in evil, but rejoices in truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. This love never fails. In the name of God, I, Brian, take you, Kelly, to be my wife, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better or for worse, for richer or poor, for sickness and health, to love and cherish, and to Jesus takes us home. This is my vow and promise to you. In the name of God, I, Kelly, take you, Brian, to be my husband, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better or for worse, for richer or for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, until Jesus takes us home. Why? Brian, you may kiss your bride. So for the first time, I present to you Mr. and Mrs. Brian Bottles. 